Jay Herbert, welcome back to London. Welcome back Sorry, to BT Saturday. Sport. Um, Saturday night, we go mm. again, brother. We go again, man. Can't wait. Can't wait to perform, you know, put on a, put on a show. Um, didn't go my way last time, but um, I'm definitely here to, you know, make, make some uh, wrongs right. And um, that's what I'm going to do, 100% Saturday. Let's talk about March because, you know, we all come away in the aftermath celebrating this incredible night for UK MMA. So many big mm. wins for people on there. But mm. of course, you yourself suffered a defeat. You know, yeah. how did you feel in the aftermath? How long did it take you to digest it? I was gutted, to be honest, for weeks, to be honest. Um, you know, I don't really, I'm not the type of guy who's going to show my, like, a lot of emotions and stuff, but I was just gutted. I thought, like, this was meant to be my time, you know, like, my hometown, like, I've been, the, la the last time I was there, I was like a fan in the, in the crowd, like, eight years beforehand or seven years beforehand, and, you know, I thought, oh, this is it, you know, I've got here, I'm going to, you know, blow the roof off the place, and then, just, you know, it ended like that. And I put on a, a good performance, and I was winning the fight, and I just, like, feel like I just threw it away. I just gave the fight away. Should never have lost that fight, man. No, let's talk about the fight. Obviously, Ilya Tapora comes in. A lot of noise around the fight. Mm. The fans, the atmosphere in there was incredible. And suddenly you're completely bossing it. You know, this guy with this big reputation couldn't get past your jab. You're piecing him up in there. Mm. You're looking great. He couldn't do anything. Mm. For the whole first round, it was all Jai Herbert. Was there a mistake you feel you made in the second round? Or, you know... I f I, he like started I to close the distance. He started maybe to trade with him a little bit too much, or exactly. I feel like, like you say, I was, that was all. It was just all going my way. You know, I was uh, doing everything I was meant to be doing right. Um, even I think he got take, he got a takedown. He shot in, shot in against me against the cage. You know, and then I, like I, I got up and then I defended the takedown again. Like he wasn't like that wasn't going his way. Like, so like even the grappling situation, which he's really you know he's mustered on the ground. He, you know he couldn't do nothing with me. He couldn't do nothing with me standing. And I feel like. I, I took my after ball a bit, just thinking, oh, I've got this in the bag. You know, second round, oh, I'm going to put him away. But, you know, fair play to him. He came out, you know, he came out on it, like, you know, he wasn't he wasn't going away. And I just took my after ball and just, you know, I was what we were practising all, all the time in training camp was when you're backed up against the cage. That's his favourite position. He gets you backed up with the cage. And he's, I've been three, four people. I've seen him KO, mm -hmm. like, when he gets you against the cage. And obviously, I'm just finding, it's like I was finding it too easy or something. I'm just like, oh, whatever. Just so I start swinging me and then I'm like throwing combinations when my, my foot's against the back of the cage. Like yeah. it's it's a big no no. You know, you got nowhere to go, nowhere to push away. And like and I just he just come over the top of the shot and caught me on. Got in, but you know you live and you learn. So we go again. Yeah. When you went back and watched the fight afterwards, were you annoyed with yourself for doing that? Were you annoyed with yourself for trading in the pocket with him like that? Yeah, I mean because it, of the way the first round had gone, especially. Yeah, the first, the first, obviously the way the first round went, I'm just thinking, you know, when I when they come out for the second, oh, he's going now this round, he's gonna go away. But fair play to him, you know, he come he come out and he was stick, trying to like put it on me close the distance where, and I think I took my after ball where I could have just I could have just literally jabbed my way to a victory, you know, gone for the three rounds. But um, I just, <laughs> you know I me, mean? I just it was just a stupid mistake, man. But you know, you live and you learn from these things, so yeah. we, we go again. Listen, you're back. you've been back to the gym, you've obviously put that behind, you look forward to this weekend. Mm. Your gym, the mats at Renegade, is some of the hottest gyms in the UK right mm. now. Obviously, Leon's got the title fight coming up. Yeah. You've got Arnold on the mats these days as well. So I bet you weren't allowed to dwell on it for too long before you were, you know, thrown back in there anyway. Nah, nah, I mean, I, I didn't, I don't, I don't do it. Like, you know, you have a week or whatever and then you think, you know what, let's just, you know, let's make, let's, let's, Let's let's get back in there and write what we got to do. Do things right, you know what I mean. And um, like you say, on the match you got to help other people because they've all got everyone's always got fights. So you got to, like get back into the help other people. So I ain't got much time to like sit there. You know, I don't really sit there feeling sorry for myself anyway. You know, I just like I feel like what happens happens. You got know what I mean. And I just you have to keep moving forward. And that's how I see life really. Yeah. This UFC journey for you. We've yeah. talked about this before about this, you know, I don't know what you've done to annoy the UFC matchmakers. The, <laughs> the, the, the first four fights that you've had in the UFC have been absolutely insane. But I feel like this weekend, I finally get to sit in front of you and say, Jai Herbert's favourite this weekend. We're going into a fight. We've got home yeah, advantage. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this guy's got a, a similar, Kyle Nelson's got a similar record to you. He's basically the Canadian version of you. Yeah, yeah. He's had four really tough fights as well. Yeah, he's, he's had four fights. They've all gone the same way as mine. Um, you know, so... It's a, like I say, it's a same similar. We're in a similar situation. We are in a similar situation, and you know he's um, a good guy from Canada. So, he seems solid in every area. What I've watched of him, 
Um, you know, he likes to come forward, likes, likes to throw heavy hands. Yeah. Um, you know, but like I say, I, I've I've learned a lot of lessons from my, my last few fights, and uh, you know, I'm I haven't come here to I haven't come here to lose. All I'm thinking is I'm, I'm winning. Like I've, that mentality is I'm just I'm, I've come to win. Yeah. I've come to KO anyone or anything. I've come to get a victory. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, I think because of what you did outside of the UFC, that whole black country banger image. People oh, expect I, 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 I the knockout. I, people want the yeah. knockout. Oh, I wish I never had that name anymore. To be honest with you, it's just, it's just like, it's like you got to live up to it, something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, like that name. Do you know what I mean? But it is what it is. I mean, with a big name, like oh, we're expecting fireworks all the time. You're punching people's head in and that. Like, but it's, you know, it's I got to be like more professional and just go out there and get the victory. And that's what I'm looking to do now. Yeah. You know, just go out, just get the W. You know, and all. all, all and you, as you know, like the knockouts come anyway. Yes. You know, when you're not trying, I feel like in that first round at Iliad, I put him down a cut, I think one once, and I hit him loads of times. And I was really trying, really trying. In the second round, I was just trying, whereas I could have just like stuck behind the jab, you know, stuck behind the jab, and then it would have come. But you know, that's what I'm saying. These are the lessons that you have to learn, man. So, yeah. yeah. Looking at Nelson and the way he likes to fight, I keep thinking back to March and thinking, if Jai does that first round to this guy, he ain't gonna be able to live with you. If you keep it along the way you wear like that and use your footwork. For me, looking at Carl Nelson, he's a telephone box fighter. He wants to get you in a telephone box yeah. and slug it out. Mm. That's how I feel. He wants to get you up against the fence and he wants to let his hands go. Yeah, Is yeah. that what you've seen? Is there, you know, yeah. similar traits? That's what I've seen of him. He likes to, you know, and he likes to get in the clinch and throw elbows and fight dirty in the clinch and stuff and punches, punches and that break from the clinch and strike. He wants to be on you. He wants to push you back, get you back against the cage and then like unleash his... Um, his overhands and his body shots, um, but like so, it's it's a game. It's a game of distance. I feel he wants to be in, in close. I want to be. I want to have him at range. And um, so you know, it's 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 all about distance control in the, this one. I feel and um, yeah. So it's 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 very um, interesting, man. We'll see. We'll see how it goes Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. I feel like that experience from March is going to stand you in such good stead for Saturday night, when because mm. you know what to expect now. Yeah. You know that place is going to be packed. You know they're going to be going absolutely ballistic, and it's just about you. You, you hit the nail on the head. It's just about Jai here, but getting the win. It's just about getting the win, man. Like I've gone out there and everyone's. I've seen. I'm looking. I'm seeing famous faces on K side. When I should, should have just been like, you know, like and looking at all the fans and everything. You know, my first time in the UFC for the fans. Um, you know, but I've seen all that now. I know what to expect, and like it's not going to be anything anything new to me. So I'm going to go straight there, tunnel vision, get in the cage. Get the win. Fight how I fight. When I fight like how I fight, you know, people say it down at the gym and that like, like no one can touch you. You know what I mean? Just like if I keep it long, work my feints, my footwork, you're just not getting near me, man. And you're just gonna get pinged. Your know, head's gonna get pinged off. But you know, um, also I'm lucky to, you know, I'm lucky to show my grappling as well because a lot of people think that it's just I'm just a striker. But like if I get in that situation where I can grapple, you, you're gonna see, you're gonna, you're gonna be surprised, man. Mm. Oh, I'm looking forward to that as well. Yeah, I'm so looking forward to it. Thank you. I'm so looking forward to Jai Herbert. The Black Country winner. Let's start that. Black Saturday Country winger. Black Black Country strangler. Maybe Saturday. <laughs> you get me. Yeah, get the choke. Love it, man. <laughs> Brilliant. Wicked.